Now, bingo is still a very popular pastime for many people, but over the past few years, there's been a drop in the number of people going to bingo halls, and that's led to some of them closing. Well, now the industry is asking the government to help by lowering tax on bingo, and it's getting the hands-on backing of a number of MPs, as Laurie Carnahan found out. These people are enjoying their day out at the bingo hall, but this week, it's not their usual bingo caller. Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a first experience for myself. So. Carlisle MP John Stevenson is calling the numbers Eight. as part of the Boost Bingo campaign. Single number four. The campaign has been launched by the Bingo Association and is calling on the government to reduce excessive tax on the bingo industry. At the moment, the duty sits at 20%. That's 5% more than most other gambling activities. I've been invited down by the local bingo hall to discuss with them their campaign to have the tax reduced so that they're on a level playing field with other industries who they compete with. And I do actually support that. I think we've got to have a competitive industry, we've got to have tax rates, but they should be equal across all industries. So I'm here to support their campaign. Gambling comes in many forms, from high street bookmakers to online sites. But bingo is considered to be one of the most sociable ways to chance your luck. I think it's very good to get the pensions out and younger people come as well. So you can mix, you know, with them and have your lunch evening meal as well. It's friendly. And just socialising basically, really. You know? Everybody's friendly, the staff are good. Just enjoy. Despite its popularity across the UK, the numbers make for some worrying reading. New figures show that in 2007 there were more than 600 traditional halls with 68 million admissions. In 2012 that had fallen to 400 halls and 43 million admissions. So it's hoped that lowering the tax duty could lead to investment, modernisation and the creation of jobs. It's also about the money that they can save through that tax is reinvested in the business so that the facilities are better, they can invest in the buildings and the infrastructure that they have so that it creates a much nicer environment for everybody to participate in. More than 400 bingo clubs across England, Scotland and Wales are kicking off the campaign by offering two free games this weekend. Laurie Carnahan, ITV News, Carlisle. You'll probably be taking them up on that, won't you? <laughs> but wasn't your first date at a bingo hall? I told you that, didn't I? <laughs> I, I did.